Riding a motorcycle and taking your camera gear with you can be a pretty daunting task. On one hand, you want to take with you the best gear that you own to produce the best image quality. And on the other hand, you need to be mindful of weight, size, and where you pack your assets to present pesky thieves from nabbing your gear, and to prevent your gear from getting crushed if you happen to fall off your bike. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the camera gear and accessories that I bring with me on each camping trip, as well as how I pack it all. And as always, all the links to each item that I mention are in the description below. So this gear here, this is mainly what I use for when I'm on my ride to my camping trip. This is how I start the episode. First of all, we have the DJI Osmo Action 3. If you have not yet seen the review on this, I just did this a couple of weeks ago, you can check it out right here. Great little camera. This is what I use for when I'm getting my POV shots riding to the campsite. You just got the helmet cam, you're behind the handlebars, you're with me riding together. It's a good time. I also use an ND16 filter on it. This one's by Freewell. Now this doesn't go in the camera bag. This just mounts straight up to my helmet via this chin mount right here. These are just cheapy ones off eBay. There are stacks out there, Into360 do one as well. Um, mount it to your helmet, it's got the magnetic adapter and that's it once it's on your helmet you hit record you got pov angles which is cool now to grab my auto i also use the dji mics i'm actually using the mics right now so i can't really show you what's inside i think it'll screw up the audio but i found these to be so so good i stick one in my backpack I stick one in my helmet if I want to talk and vlog. I'm going to be doing a full review on that in the coming weeks. And with this, I just slip this into my backpack. It's super light. That's how I record my audio while I'm on the ride. Now to grab all of my other camera angles while I'm on the road, I use the Insta360 X3. This thing's incredible. Move it around your bike maybe like three or four times and you've got a whole bunch of angles to work with. I have a full on playlist, tutorials and everything, which I'll link right here as well and at the end of the video. Great little camera. I also don't pack this in the camera bag. I mount it straight up to my bike via the invisible selfie stick and the clamp that's all included in the Moto Bundle, which is available for free if you use my affiliate link, which is in the description below as well. Now this is cool. I haven't really shared this. This is the GPS remote. So I strap this up to my handlebars because sometimes with the Insta360 on the T7, it's the camera is too far. It's too far to hit record and then just stop recording, whatever. So you just leave this on, leave the Insta360 on, goes on standby, it doesn't use too much battery because the screen turns off and everything, it's really clever. When you want to record, you just literally hit this, it records straight away and then stop recording, hit it again and that's your remote. But what it also does is it records everything else, it records your speed, your altitude, your maps, your ride. So you can go back through and turn all that on as an overlay on your screen. But that's just another cool little thing that Insta360 do. But all those specs and everything are only available if you use the GPS remote. I've only started using this maybe the last four camping trips and it's just, it's the best now. I can't go without it. So that just goes straight on the handlebars. All good. So none of this is actually in my camera bag or my tank bag. And I don't take any spare batteries for the X3 or the Osmo Action. The batteries last long enough and that's two days, a lot of shooting. They don't go flat. And if they do, I just charge these when I'm at the campsite. Now for safety and security, I like to pack all my gear in my tank bag. I use a Lone Rider tank bag. It's quite large, but I can fit everything in there comfortably. Now the beauty about using the tank bag is that if you drop your bike, your gear's still safe. And if you go to the servo, if you need to go to the supermarket, you can easily detach the tank bag and just take it inside with you. It's got a cool little carry handle. I used to store everything in a backpack, but it gets heavy over time, especially if you're riding for like three or four hours and you've got all your camera gear in your back. I take a camel pack with me. I've got water in there. I just have the mics just sitting in the in the front like that. So starting off in my tank bag, we have the Mavic Mini 3 Pro. Now, of course, I love my aerial views. I just find that gives you a nice perspective of where you are. It gives you a nice establishing shot if you're in the forest, if you're camping out in the forest or the desert. Give a nice opening scene of where you are and then it gives you the idea when you go into POV that that is, in fact, where you are. This is the Mavic Mini 3. I have another review video, which is linked right there. Wicked little drone, this. It's got self-tracking and everything, so you can be riding anywhere and just have this thing just following you. It just gives you another cool perspective. I take one spare battery for this. I find that two batteries is so much time, you get more than an hour's worth of flight time, which is <laughs> insane, especially with just two batteries. If you do burn through all these batteries in the Osmo Action 3, the X3, and the Mavic Mini 3, it's funny they're all threes actually, yeah. then you've got your shot. You've got so much content to work with, you're gonna be so sweet. And also in the tank bag, I store the controller as well. This remote is the best. You can see exactly what you're doing. Screen's super bright, controls feel good. It's a good size. It beats having to pair your phone up all the time. 
and mount the controller to your phone and plug it and all in and all that sort of stuff. This is just ready to go straight away. And on the back of it, I have the Quadlock Universal Adapter. So that's just an adhesive adapter that you can stick on literally any bit of gear that you have and you can mount it up to your Quadlock and it's secure as. And this is the Universal Adapter that I use. Aside from motorcycle mounts, Quadlock also provides a whole variety of mounting options to choose from for your daily needs. I use the MagJewel desktop wireless charger while I'm in the office, the out front cycling mount on my bicycle, the wireless CarPlay adapter combined with the vent car mount with the Mag wireless charging head so that I can pump tunes and navigate while driving completely wireless, and the all new tripod selfie sticks so that I can capture content no matter the activity. If you're in need of a secure phone mount, not only for your motorcycle, but for your everyday activities, then feel free to explore explore the website via my link in the description below which will give you 10% off all of their products or use code MOTORFEELS at checkout. So that's how I get my shots while I'm riding in self-tracking mode or if I shoot the drone straight up in the air, point it down and I'm riding through a twisty, this is how I track everything. But if you do mount the quadlock adapter to your RC remote, please just be mindful of your own safety and the safety of others around you. If the drone looks like it's going to crash, don't try to save it while you're riding your bike, please pull over and then save your drone or if it's already crashed, pull over safely, go and get it. When I do it, I don't touch the controller at all. I'm riding, I'm watching, that's it. I don't use self-tracking on public roads. I only do it when I'm at the location and I'm riding on dirt trails or something. Just be responsible. That's what I'm trying to say. But it is great and it works and I can see exactly what I'm doing, so it's wicked. So that's all the camera gear I use for when I'm on my rides. And this is the gear that I take with me when I'm at the location. Starting with the tripod. Now Peak Design ever so graciously sent me their travel tripod. This thing is an absolute beast. I've only used it a couple of times, um, but I love it so much. It's very compact compared to my other one, which is being used right now. That's the B3, the Manfrotto B3. It's literally my very first tripod that I've had for like four years. And it works still, but this is just so much nicer. It does come at a pretty hefty price point though. It's like a it's like thousand dollars Australian, a fair bit for them tripod. But everything from the packaging down to how it just feels, opening the legs up, it's very responsive and it just feels and looks fantastic. Mounting the camera up to the tripod head is very simple, nice and quick and easy. Adjusting the ball head, the camera angle is very intuitive. It's all just there. You're not searching around for a little knob to turn or anything like that. It's all just there. I do love the height extension knob, how it just pops out and pops back in. Look at that. And it's all magnetic. It's so just damn tasty. And then also, you have this hook under here. And so you hang your bag on there if you're taking long exposures and you're trying to minimize camera wobble. I mean, the legs are very sturdy, but if you want to just have the extra anchor point, you can hang your bag on there and that just holds the camera stand down just that bit more. And if you take that off, inside, whoop, you have this little bad boy. And this right here is your phone mount for the top of the tripod. That just goes in like that. And then you can just stick your phone in like that. And there you go. You have you have your phone now. So good. That quick as well. Pack it up. It's off. Boom. It's in. In the bottom of the stand. In your thing. Whoop. That's it. All done. And when you pack it, there's no thing sticking out. It stays in really nice. It's lighter than most tripods. It's good. It's so good. It feels oh, it just feels so nice. So thank you Pick Design for sending that out to me. And this I strapped to the top of my pannier bag. And sometimes I'll use this as a mounting point for my Insta360 to get a cool side angle of my rides. Such a good travel companion. Now for my main camera, I use the Lumix S5. I bought this mid last year and I'm so in love with it. I can't believe how good of a camera it is. I think it's so underrated. And I just use their kit lens as well with an ND filter. So I don't have anything here. Hang on, let me get the kit lens. This is the variable ND filter I use. It's a, what is it, a Kane F concept. It's pretty good. It only goes up to ND32 and it goes down to ND2, which is great. I think I'd need something darker for those really bright sunny scenes. This just doesn't cut it. I need to stop it down with aperture. So I need to get a darker ND filter. But this is the kit lens. It's 20 to 60. Usually kit lenses aren't that great. This thing's awesome. <laughs> I actually love it. And it was only just recently that I bought the adapter. It's the MC21. So I can mount all my Canon glass to the Lumix now, which is what you're seeing right now. Right now I'm using the 16 to 35 mil, but I don't take my expensive lenses with me. The lens that I'm using right now is a 16 to 35 2.8 and that costs three grand. So that stays at home. Kit lens comes with me for the camping trips and it's more than enough 
for what I'm doing. And 20 to 60 is a great focal length for the stuff that I'm doing as well. Let me know if camera gear and all that sort of stuff interests you more. Um, and I'll do, I'll make more videos on actual camera gear and the stuff that I use and photography stuff. I'm not sure if you guys just want action camera stuff to capture your rides or if you're actually, you know, into the big boy cameras as well. Anywho, I need to take a spare battery with me. That just goes in the tank bag um, and the battery charger, of course. The microphone I use for all of my camping videos, all of my ASMR stuff is just the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus with a big old fluffy dead cat on there to stop the wind noise. To get the best audio possible, I usually crank it up to plus 20 dB. That way I'm not pushing it up in post and you start getting hissy noises and stuff like that. If I'm ever on my bike and I have this stationary filming me while I'm riding, I turn that off so I'm not going plus 20, I'm back down to zero. But that's it. So many people are surprised that I only use one mic and that just mounts on top of my camera. I don't have another mic on me. I don't put mics right near all the stuff that I'm doing. This just captures so much. It's very directional and I'm very happy with the audio quality. I might upgrade it later on. I actually had a fall the other week and uh, I had this in one of my side bags on the T7 and it's, I'm so lucky it didn't break, but it did it did make it a little bit wonky. So this now is going to be traveling in my backpack with me. It's super light. I don't know why I wasn't doing it before, but awesome mic. That's a great mic. I've had this for a few years now. To power up the camera, I need to take a spare battery with me. I probably go through about three charges per camping trip and that's a lot. Like I'm filming a lot. I'm, I'm filming about 150 gigabytes just with this camera. So this these get smashed. And so I bring my charger with me as well. That actually goes in my pannier bag. I don't really need it on me while I'm riding or anything like that. Same as these battery packs. I take two with me, 15,000 milliamp hours. This is more than enough for charging one of these three times, which is really cool. And then I take this with me to charge, you know, my phone, um, any accessories if I need to charge my Insta360 or the Osmo Action. I can with this guy. There are those solar power banks, which I think I'll end up getting so I can do longer trips and just have it exposed while I'm riding. Oh, and of course, a little bag full of cables. So this is the one for the Lumix S5. And then this is my iPhone cable and just a couple of, oh, just one USB-C cable and one micro USB cable. That's it, just what you need. And that just packs into my pannier bag as well because I don't really need it while I'm riding. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all the stuff I take with me on my camping trip. If I'm doing a vlog, if I'm doing a moto vlog, then obviously I don't take any of this. I just take what I had before and that's, that's pretty much it. And then if I'm doing a photography shoot, I will take this camera with a lens and I'll just mount that in the tank bag, go for a shoot. Happy days. Obviously the aim of the game is to keep weight down as much as possible. If you don't think you're gonna use it, don't bring it. If I bring something with me, like if I wanna bring something different, I'll make sure that I use it because otherwise, why the hell did I bring it, you know? But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like, hit subscribe. Check out the links in the description below if you wanna check any of these gear out. Thank you so much to Quadlock for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And we're gonna be talking about the DJI mic. This guy right here. See you then.